In this video we're going to set up the game over screen and the first thing you're going to need to do is look at the project menu and select the game over object. Um, in fact before you do that make sure you have the HUD layer selected okay, and you will see that the HUD is the active layer and this is where we want the game over object being displayed. So click on the game over, nope, too many clicks, click on the game over object in the project menu and click and drag it to the main, not the main, the HUD layer and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, put it in the center of the screen and we're going to change the text, we're going to change the text to game over. Okay, we're going to, let's change the color to a purple color maybe. Oh no, that's not selected the purple color. There we go. Yep, all right, so it's a purplish color there. Let's change the font again, let's keep it consistent and change the font to Korean New. Okay, and we're gonna change the size. Let's say I'm gonna change the size to about 40. 40 might be a bit too big. Looks all right. In fact, let's make it a little bit bigger just so that it fills the screen for this purpose. Let's go with 50. There you go. All right, so the object box is in the middle of the screen. Let's make it bold. As well as making it bold, let's align it to the center of the box. If that is at the center of the box. Yeah, that's about the center of the screen there. Okay, and as well as doing all of that, okay, what you need to make sure you do, in fact, let's just vertically align it to the center as well to see if that does anything. Well, our box probably isn't big enough to do that, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but this is the main thing right here. While you have the object selected, okay, make sure initial visibility or initially visible, okay, option is unticked. Okay, that means when you start the game, it's not going to be well displayed to the user. So once you've done that, okay, if you could click on the event sheet, so that's the object setup, and again remember initial initially visible option in the properties menu needs to be unticked. Um, click on the game event sheet. You're then going to want to add a new event. So we're going to add an event, and what we want to happen is we want to compare, if I want a system event, we want to compare variables. Okay, and we want the game over option to essentially display um, when the player lives is, well, zero or below. Now, just to avoid any kind of problems and glitches, make sure you change the comparison, uh, the comparison option to less than, okay, and we want less than one okay so there we go we've got when the lives variable is less than one there we go done when it is less than one we want the game over so we're going to add an action we want the game over object to be set to visible if we can find that option somewhere there we go set Invisible. Okay, and click next. And then make sure the visibility is set to visible. Boom. There we go. Okay, after we do that, the game over text is obviously going to be visible and displayed to the user. We want to wait, let's say, five seconds. So we'll add another system action. We'll look for the wait option. There it is wait okay and we want it to wait for let's say about five seconds so we'll have game over displayed on the screen for about five seconds click done okay from there we're going to want to again select another system action we want to reset all the global variables so we'll reset the lives back to three and the score back to zero there we go 
Okay, and the last action we're going to add to this event, we want to restart the whole layout. So again, system action, and then we want reset layout. There it is, restart layout. And next, there we go. So that is the game over object put into the game and the events programmed to make the game over screen display. If we press play, we'll just quickly test it out. Here we go, so we're in the game. Again, score variable is working, but really we just want to test out the game over. So we'll collide with the asteroid a couple of times. One more time. There we go, and game over is displayed. All right, so if we wait about five seconds, there we go, so lives are now reset to 3 and score is set to 0 again.